PG&E has two ways to move water from the Spalding Reservoir to two water agencies. A tunnel connects the reservoir and provides water to both the Spalding 1 and Spalding 2 powerhouses. Water leaving the Spalding 1 powerhouse empties into the Drum Canal, which feeds downstream reservoirs. Spalding 2 powerhouse empties into the South Yuba Pipe, which connects the South Yuba Canal and provides water to other reservoirs downstream. With the Spalding 1 powerhouse out of service for repairs and the South Yuba Pipe out of service from rock slide damage, PG&E has to make repairs before deliveries to the water agencies can resume. PG&E operations noticed a water leak on March 6th at the Spalding 1 powerhouse. We didn't expect to find water at a, at a certain spot in the concrete, so we stopped operations and immediately took action to understand the issue. PG&E recognizes the importance of water delivery out of our watershed and values it up there with power generation for our customers. We use a submersible to actually get into what's called the tail race, which is the exhaust, if you will, of the powerhouse. We've noticed uh, indications of degradation of some of our steel and concrete structure. And since then, we've been working around the clock using three ships overlapping so we could re resolve the issue as quickly as possible, understanding that folks were counting on us for water. Although a major feat and major civil and mechanical infrastructure rebuild, we don't have the luxury of our normal planning process. Due to the sense of urgency in getting water back, we're designing, demoing, and constructing all at the same time. We have tight confines of a powerhouse built 100 years ago. Part of the challenges is not just that space, but the extent of the damage. We're chipping away old concrete and rock, we're pulling, cutting up steel structure to pull out of a hole. Add to that the length of time required, you've got crews working for a very long time around the clock. All of the team members are really focused on the common goal of restoring water and energy to our partners and customers. So I think having that common goal has really helped the team um, stay positive and focused on the task at hand. South Yuba Pipe is a way we get water out of Spalding Unit 2 to some of our water commitment customers. Earlier this year in the storms in February, we experienced a significant rock slide that took out our South Yuba pipe, limiting our ability to deliver water downstream to our, our water agencies. Unfortunately, with all the snow and the storms, we couldn't gain access to assess or to actually resolve the issue. Uh, since then, we've been able to see the extent of issue and we're working, as you can hear in the background, we have helicopters removing material now. We're actually working through uh, an assessment with our geotechnical partners to clear off all the material, not just the material that has fallen, but look to any material that can fall and impact us in the future. And we are improving facilities as we repair uh, the current issues to make sure that these facilities continue to operate safely and reliably well into the future. pg e is committed to getting this right. We're using a different material we're using a, a thicker and more robust design. We're actually grouting this with a, a new and improved type of epoxy grout. We'll actually make this stronger and last longer for us. pg e has made this restoration our top priority. Not only do we live and use these resources, both water and electricity, we're members of this community and we're making sure that we get it back as quickly as we can.